This is, a, this is a skateboard. You can still be on a skateboard in this game, so it doesn't really matter. SSX3. You got a mountain. You got peaks. You got races. You got free styles. You got free ride. We're not going to talk about that. I was a little young to remember the previous titles, but what I can say is that there's tricky. There's one, and there's... This one, I'm sweating in this right now. There's a solid cast of characters, some returning, some new. Ever since the first game, I've only really used Moby. Growing up, I just thought he was the coolest character. I still do. Take that and try and toss it in the bin. Oh. Griff kind of stands out because he's so little, so that's why I use him. Stupid. I'm sweating so much. I gotta fit the scene. You basically just win races and win freestyles until you unlock all the peaks. When you win first place or a gold medal, you unlock some pretty cool gear that in today's world, it would be behind some sort of paywall. You could also buy gear if you like. It's not as cool as the one you win. It's a small variational difference. If you prefer to spend your hard-earned cash on something else, you can buy attributes like you're building a character, like it's an RPG game. I'm behind a green screen, so I don't know exactly what I'm pointing at. You want to increase speed and win races? You do that. You want to win freestyles and do tricks? Tricks and spins. You don't even need speed. Because sometimes speed actually hurts you. And this is me running into a blimp. I've only beaten the game with Griff and Moby, so I don't really know what everyone else wears. But the customization for an old game like this is so deep, as opposed to the 360 version, which just had like different colored like jackets and pants and boards that would make you better. You have to sometimes wear what you didn't like, and I don't like that. I like to be able to customize whatever I want. You could have knight armor, knight boots. You can have a sword. You can even wear a helmet. I like the white afro though. Daddy, chill. You can also put like special stuff on like this head. The tricks are important. You get the uber meter up, you get speed boosts. I mean, it's kind of a small foundation of the game. It's easy to get, so I don't really think about it. And also you can play as a snowman. All right, moving on. Let's talk about the races. You do have to play each race like three times just to do the heats to get to the final, but there's so many different combinations of ways you can get down the mountain. It's like you got to do mathematical equations to figure it out. There's like sweat coming down my back. Ugh. There's so many shortcuts in out of bounds areas, especially on the map Ruthless, which if you go to this out of bounds area, you actually end up on this completely different track that's like a it's like a relaxing little side view of some houses some cute houses well, snow jam's cool it's actually the first race and in one moment you're in the open crisp air and then next you're in a log this is a log and also metro city which is the second race there's so many different jumps and grinds you can do to take shortcuts i feel like there's more fun aspects to the easy tracks because they weren't worried about how difficult it was this course is literally ingrained in my head my next video will be me drawing the blueprints to metro city freestyle is actually really fun too it's an easy way to get the medals quickly the super pipes are almost a guaranteed win because you can just spam the same trick over and over again. Unfortunately, at peak three, you gotta be like the literal lord to win. Even with doing some Tony Hawk manual combos, whatever he did. You know, remember in Tony Hawk when you could do like the pogo stuff? This would be me snowboarding without, um, a board. And after finishing the set of races or freestyles with that peak, you get the start at the top and go all the way to the bottom. For freestyle, it's a certain score. For racing, it's a certain time. And as you go to peak two and three, it adds on to each other. So eventually, you're at peak three, dropping all the way down to the final of peak one. So it takes like 25 minutes, as you can see. So at least you can pause. You can have a little snack. Jesus, I'm sweating. But hey, listen, stop. The music. <laughs> when it comes to music, this game has a solid track list. A lot of alternative rock, some punk rock. You got some hip hop. These songs remind me of speed and downhill jamming. You can also buy a custom playlist which I don't know why it's there, but hey, I'm not gonna argue. What's really cool though, and not many people mention, is when you get big air, the DJ removes the vocals and he almost like sweeps away the low end. So you're just hearing like the high frequencies of the song as you're in the high frequency of the air. Here we go! This is a certified hood. And hey, if you don't like music, which, hey, I'm not going to judge you if you don't, you can turn on big mountain ambience, which is actually really nice because you can hear the coldness of the wind. The soft snow crushed beneath your snowboard. You can hear the carving of the icy terrain as you go over it. You can probably pair it with some classical music. Rarely you can hear some birds, maybe like a crow or something. Just for fun, I'm gonna read off some bird names. A western wood peewee, juniper titmouse, dick sissel, and then the fluffy back tit babbler, which is probably the last bird they ever named. For 2003, this game is incredible, and still to this day it holds up. It's so cool you can just get on the whole mountain from the top. What's the top of the mountain called in Skyrim whenever you're with the doing the shouts, something's mouth. You're like up there. This game might have got me to like snow as much as I do in the sports you can do in it. Although I don't snowboard, I do ski. Let me show you these skis. These are my cool skis. If you put them together, they make a three-eyed tiger. Even though this is the right ski and this is the left, so if they were on the right side, it wouldn't make any sense. But I'm not gonna argue with the people that gave me these skis, even though I bought them. But hey, if you made it this far and you enjoyed my first video ever on this channel, I wanna thank you guys so much because I'm nervous. I don't know how to make these. And I wanna start doing it because it's fun. I got a green screen. And I'm not gonna say it like always because I've never done this before. So catch me on the happiness trail. I'll see you guys later. Hey, uh, one more thing. I don't have a real outro yet, but I just want to say that I'm going to be doing more videos on older games and more things I grew up on that I love. So I'm just going to laugh hysterically with this uh, cool effect that I have. <laughs> bye, bye.